Lockmaster. This is a pleasure craft coming from the north, heading south. I was hoping I could pass through today. Lock 9 bag, you said you're going south? Yes, sir. Hold on a sec, I'll get right back to you. Yeah, keep it coming, it'll be about 10 minutes. I'm not sure what lock this is. I've kind of lost count. I think it's like eight or nine. <laughs> lock eight or nine. <laughs> and I'm honestly not sure what if this is even a town. I don't think it is, but it's the first one south of Lansing, Iowa on the Mississippi, of course. I want to show you guys this. So batteries are slowly creeping up. I think it's going around 12.3, 12.4. Usually they're in the 13s. I've even seen it get into the 14s. And it's because for the past couple days, it's just been overcast. So I wouldn't say they're they're failing, but they're struggling, you know. I unplugged the refrigerator for a little while, you know, for like an hour or so, because I knew as long as I didn't open it, it would be fine. And then I plugged it back in. So it's good to know. I could add more batteries, though I'm kind of just waiting for the, the lead acids that I have now to kind of expire and run their course and then I'm going to get some lithiums you know but maybe that'll tell you guys something when you build your system and we've got the green light I just radioed the lock master told him we're a slow boat so it'll take us a second to get there and he said we can float in the chamber and there's no wind so it should be a piece of cake I know you want off the boat soon Entering the chamber. You better like the sound of trains if you live in this part of the world because they're everywhere and all the time. And they're blasting their horns. <laughs> they're closing up for us. Just for little old us. Okay, this is Lock and Dam number nine. Number nine. More guys having fun on the job. They'll be opening up the front for us here really soon. And they open up. I didn't see a single barge yesterday. And this is the second one in about 10 minutes. Six hundred and ninety-nine, seven hundred. Oh. Well, what town is this? Let's find out. This would be the town of Marquette, Iowa. And according to maps, that is a floating casino right there. Casino Queen, I think. I don't think we're gonna stop here. We might, it's getting towards the end of the day, I might go find a little backwaters to drop anchor. Try to pick one that looks like maybe the fishing's good. Maybe over there. Uh, 
that's the casino or maybe I don't know they've got rules in some of these places on the river where casinos are only allowed on the water so sometimes they just have a boat floating in the water and that's where you gamble that's kind of a neat building look at that this is some kind of mill just south of Marquette here and I think I might go over there tonight and drop anchor because there's a quick trip. They don't call them quick trips in Iowa. They call them quick stars or something like that. Same thing, same company. But uh, yeah, I got to fill a couple gas cans and it's just a good time to stop. So hold tight, guys. Stay tuned. Let me show you the little spot that we found here in Marquette, Iowa. So I could probably get away with just going on the outside of one of these and there's actually tons of places to to pull up to but you know it's there's a chance that someone would come down and be like you're gonna pay us and you, you can't blame them even though it's totally off season and you know got all the space in the world so and plus i kind of like anchoring out it's just as good well good morning guys and gals we are in a little town just south of Marquette, Iowa. It started raining early this morning. I kind of like it. Feels like Ireland. I'm wearing my Irish sweater. <laughs> we are going to dinghy to town, just to that little dock over there. It's not far. And take the gas cans, fill up on some gas, and go look around the town. It looks like this little hamlet. You know, it's got these old buildings, like a, like a little mill town or something. So let's go check it out. Stay tuned. A lot of this stuff is closed. It's still early in the morning. I'm tempted to hang around here and check it out in more detail. Look at these original old buildings. Just those dormers there. Amazing. I love old brick buildings. Here I am standing in the middle of the road again in Iowa. <laughs> There's places like this. You literally just wait for a couple cars to go by and then go stand in the middle of the road and take a picture. Let's go up to the very top of this main drag here and look at what is probably a Catholic church. There's a couple of them. We always got to see the churches in town if we can. So stay tuned. We got to look at the little book house here. See if there's anything worth taking. Nope. It looks like a church. It probably was a church at one time. Now it's a community center. Am I the only one that just loves doing stuff like this? <laughs> I love it. I love just coming by 
I'm discovering a place, a town, for the first time. I've said this before, you don't have to like be the first person to pogo stick to the North Pole or something like that, some kind of novel adventure. Because when you're the adventurer, everything is a first. Everything is a discovery. So try to remember that, guys. You are, you are the pioneer, you're the adventurer. And everything is an adventure, if you look at it with the right eyes. This town is a lot bigger than I thought it was. I thought it was just a little hamlet on the side of the river, but it just goes up quite a ways. And I think this is actually a smaller town than Marquette, which is like right next to it, just a little bit north of us. We just passed it last night. Yeah, this, this place has got some history though. We can't just walk by these humble little churches that are often overshadowed by the big Catholic and the old more ornate churches. I bet you really good people go to this one right here. On past adventures, I've had people say, like in the comments and stuff, like, Iowa. And I know that, you know, I can tell by the view counts too, it's like, Iowa's boring. No, Iowa is, Iowa is an amazing state. And this town is an example, like a shining example of that. I mean, it, they, these old buildings, these old brick buildings, 150 plus years old. This town has been here perched on the edge of the Mississippi. Now it's it feels touristy, which is just the age we live in. But you can't get this in a lot of places. Iowa's amazing. The whole, mid, the whole Midwest is amazing. America's amazing. I could I could I could spend three lifetimes exploring the backwaters and the backwards of America. And I mean it. As I'm walking around downtown, when I see what is obviously locals, you can always tell locals from tourists. There's just like a demeanor and how they walk and they're kind of over it, you know, they're disinterested in their surroundings. I'm the same way. I try really hard to, you know, not to, but it just happens. It's just human nature, but it's, it's kind of funny. Like as I'm taking pictures, you can tell there's just this one guy walked by and he, he, I'm sure he's just thinking, Oh great, another tourist. It, isn't it kind of late to have a tourist walking around gawking? <laughs> nice. Let's go take a look at these old murals, get an idea what the town used to look like. Probably very similar. I take it a few people actually work in this town. Anytime you see these, you know people are probably, some people have real jobs. <laughs> there was a lot more to this town than I thought when we got here last night. 
looking up from the river, I just thought it was a, you know, five houses and a, and a bar. This is a really historic town. Best one I would yet, I think, on the river so far. Let's fill up our gas cans. This is the first possible looper, other looper, I have seen so far. I mean, it's not to say there might just be going a couple hundred miles or something, but it looks like a looper boat. Today is kind of a transit day. It's really gloomy out there, kind of raining once in a while. Stopped at the moment. And kind of hiding inside the cabin just trying to make some miles today it would be great to get all the way to Dubuque though I don't think I will at five and a half miles an hour today probably tomorrow I'm not really in a hurry I'm loving this but I'm looking ahead at the weather and it's it's gonna drop down into the 30s so there's a long way to go still I'll show you this it actually looks like someone's living on that boat you can tell when they're got a little they're kind of using their fishing boat as a dinghy I could go over there and just try to meet them <laughs> but I tend not to do that so what do you think they're mining in the side of that hill We had to move over onto the break wall this morning because a north wind, the wind changed from the south to the north and it was dragging the anchor. And thankfully I saw it right before it came into this little cove here and started ramming the outboard and into the bottom. <laughs> so once again, God is our defender. This is a little bit different perspective on the, the locks. So Wavy and I are just hanging out here, trying to wait for the wind to die down, Gutenberg, Iowa. And we're coming back from the store. They have this little, this viewing area up here. They have it all open. They're really generous with letting people, you know, see what they're doing. A lot of times these places are kind of closed off and, you know, security risks or whatever. But here we can see uh, a barge, a push barge, pushing through a, a pretty big load. Usually, you know, they might, I've heard they sometimes break them apart, and that's possible what they're doing here to make it a little wider. You can see it's three wide up front there. Yeah, I mean, when I my job is easy as a shanty boat captain compared to what the skill these guys have to push this stuff around. And sometimes the Mississippi gets really narrow.
What do you think we're going somewhere? You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? Yes or no? You want to go for a walk? Yes or no?